How's it, Brandon Spilly here from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Cook Hip Lift Verse Band. Right, for this exercise, what you're gonna want is a rack or a way to put your bands on your J-hooks. So I just got the band looped around the J-hook here in the bottom position. And now we're gonna perform our Cook Hip Lift. So I'm gonna get underneath the band. I'm gonna place this around my hip, kind of like a uh, seat belt based position. And then from here, I'm gonna get in my single leg glute bridge position, but then I'm gonna go with my cook hip lift. So from here, you can grab either behind the back of your knee or the front of your knee. Just depends upon the kind of mobility that you have. This leg is completely flat on the ground. And then from here in this position, I'm gonna take my left glute and hamstring, drive it up towards the ceiling, get a good squeeze, and then come back down. So as you can tell, I'm getting some good quality glute contraction here. The band, as I go up, is creating more tension really focusing on me having to squeeze my glute and then I'm going to switch sides. This is my hip that's not as good so I usually have to grab back here to create that space that I want and then press through my right glute as I go up. Key coaching points here, you want to make sure that you're not arching through your low back as you go to do this. Bring your pelvis kind of underneath you, bring your belly button towards you, grab that leg, make sure you stay nice and flat from the beginning and then really push through your whole foot as you go up and hold that for a brief second at the top. Now you can load this up with other weight as well and just use the band to have to focus on a better glute contraction to load this up. But I really like this as an activation based drill to get the glutes and hamstrings firing and contracting, feeling them very well before we go to do any other kind of lower body exercise. Or this can be used for an introductory based exercise to help athletes or clients associate their hips in terms of flexion and extension. Also, if you're there, glutes and hamstrings doing some work and make sure we're bringing up that posterior chain with a low introductory based exercise. So typically for this, I like this for anywhere from two to three sets, about 10 to 15 reps per side. If you're going to use it for an activation based drill or a drill that you're just looking to get things warmed up before you squat, deadlift, or introduce athletes to other general movement, basically using it as a movement prep based exercise, one to two sets of just 10 to 15 reps on each leg is more than enough to get the job done. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.